This is Vision Slightly Blurred with Sarah Jacobs. And I'm Alan Murabayashi. Sarah, we're talking about Beyonce. Yeah. Hiring photographers. Yeah. And the effect that it has or doesn't have on their career. I mean, you don't become Beyonce or Jay-Z without having your ear to the pavement on the pulse of culture. Right. And I think that they have made a point of looking for both new talent, but also new diverse talent. We're seeing a lot of black or Hispanic photographers enter into their, uh, their orbit. Including the most major one, Tyler Mitchell. Yes. Photographed Beyonce for the cover of the September Vogue issue. Um, and he's also the first African-American to, in the history of that Vogue to have shot the cover. Possible. It's, 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 an ins- it's pretty insane. It's stunning in any industry to still hear things like the first woman, the first black person, the first Asian. It's like, what? (laughs) It's 2019. How can that even be possible? I know. Well, he had done some work. Um, He had been, he does video as well. And he had done work with Marc Jacobs, Ray-Ban, American Eagle Outfitters. But he was hired by Anna Wintour. Um and the creative director of Vogue and Condé Nast. When you look at his photography, how would you describe his style? I'm going to use his words and not mine. Perfect. He was asked in an interview exactly that. What type of photography do you do? What type of photographer are you? And how Tyler answered that was he said, I'm a concerned photographer. So a lot of his work has these themes where he's exploring the modern black man experience, male experience, yeah. You know, I saw his Teen Vogue cover yes. of the Parkland school shooting survivors Yes, and was not impressed with, with that particular photo series. Thought it was kind of uninspired. 100%. The photos did not really impress me. There's, um, I mean, there's definitely kind of a, a naturalistic style to his stuff that, that I think a lot of young kids have kind of this very analog feel to their photos. Mm-hmm. Um, They're not trying to push the technical capabilities. They're not trying to get this super crisp image. Mm -hmm. They're not necessarily using lighting in a way that was used, right, in the 2000s where we're trying to outpower the sun and make these really dramatic angles and whatnot. Totally. um, Which I really like about his his photography. The Vogue cover, it looks so, quote unquote, simple. I mean, obviously it's not. Obviously there's a lot of thought and prep put into those photographs, but the end result makes it look so natural as though he just came across Beyonce sitting, you know, in front of a (laughs) sheet. In a dress, yeah. (laughs) In a beautiful dress, you know, with flowers on top of her head. Um, but, but, But to be able to make it look like you just came across that and like happened to be Beyonce's like best friend that she would give that look to, like, like applaud to Mitchell, you know? No, definitely has a connection with the subject. 100%. So Beyonce says in the September issue of this uh, Vogue from last year, she says, until there is a mosaic of perspectives coming from different ethnicities behind the lens, we will continue to have a narrow approach and view of what the world actually looks like. Mm-hmm. Um, which is a very informed kind of thing to say. And I think that's what many critics of photography are saying about sort of the, the old white guy approach, which is, it's not against old white guys. It's just saying that the, the, the view of photography was so dominated by one point of view mm-hmm. that it limits our perspective of reality. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, so Tyler was a teenager when he shot this? No, he was 23. 23, still pretty young. Yep, 23. Uh, still pretty young as well is Raven B, also known as Ravy, Ravy B on yeah, Instagram. yeah. Who shot Beyonce's, uh, by Beyonce and Jay-Z's last tour. Yes, yes. Um, I love her. And I, I, what I really like about her, I think I discovered her actually not on Instagram, but on Twitter. She has a really big Twitter presence, and she plays to the Twitter audience differently than her Instagram audience. And if you, like, pull up her Twitter and her Instagram, it's, it's fun to see the difference in that, you know, on Twitter... You, she just has so much more of a sense of humor. You know, she's putting up memes and all that, that that connect with her audience and that like help her build her brand. I, I think when you are a young photographer doing fashion or music, you know, both Tyler and Raven are like good looking, stylish 
kids. Mm-hmm. Well, they're they're you know mid twenties to late twenties at this point. Mm-hmm. But there c- certainly is something to be said about like using that to their advantage. I listened to some interviews with um, with Raven, like hyper articulate, um, fun, knows how to get along with people. Mm-hmm. And the one thing I'll say, you know, I think it's true of music photography in general is that the ones that are successful at it, regardless of their skin color, love the music. Oh, They really yeah. love the music. Yeah, totally. You know, it's yeah. like, fa- and how knowledgeable they are about, you know, the artists that they're covering and the genre that that artist operates in. It's really, really fascinating to me. I, I think looking at the, like, if you look at Raven's work versus Tyler's work, you see Raven's, like, extremely technically good, right? Like, Tyler has this, like, you know, it's very artistic. It's this, like, natural feel. And then you look at Raven's work, and it's, like, this crisp, clean Yeah, and she's image. using telephotos. Exactly. I mean, she knows she's, how to shoot a concert. Yes, exactly. I, I love any photos that she posts with, like, her, you know, her big cameras. Like, it's just, like, heck yes. Like, go you go, girl. Another photographer that really kind of made waves because of the subject matter was Awal Erzu, um, who did the pregnancy photo, mm-hmm. the pregnancy announcement photo, um, which, again, I didn't love that particular photo. Really? It felt a little kitschy to me. And then when the New Yorker published their photos of the year, mm-hmm. all the photos that I was attracted to were... AWOL's photos. I was mm-hmm. like, Jesus, this guy's like really good. He's also like a triple threat. He doesn't just do photography. He's doing sculpture. He does neon light work. Yeah. He creates these amazing neon lights with, uh, it's like hands holding roses and they're like manicured fingers and it's just the most gorgeous. I want one of those in my apartment. Yeah, I'm glad that his, I think his, that photo of her made like, it was one of the top liked photos that year on Instagram. It was the number one. Oh, was it number one? That year it was the number one photo. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and- Compared to this year, yeah. it's just like, oh, we're just going down. <laughs> Compared egg. to the egg. <laughs> the egg. Oh, <laughs> the egg. Okay. Well, the last photographer and the only photographer that Beyonce has credited yeah. was a recent photo in her Instagram feed that her daughter took. Oh, Blue Ivy. Blue. <laughs> it was a nice photo, but Blue, you cut off mom's feet a little bit if I'm remembering. Oh. If I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, just a little that's bit. right. She did. Gotta, you got to pay attention to the, the corners and the edges. <laughs> On, blue. That's like every <laughs> photographer, uh, photo pro- prof professor has always said that. Look at the edges. Look at the edges. It's always look at the edges and the corners. She'll learn. Well, I, I think it's I think it's wonderful that Beyonce is using different artists. I mean, it, it partially keeps her relevant, right? Mm-hmm. By by using kind of young, young and up and coming kids and giving them the exposure, even if they're not being tagged. Totally. And yeah, you're right. Beyonce is like the perfect example yeah. of that. Of like. Her keeping her brand consistent, yet surrounding herself with these incredibly talented people that can make her look wonderful and really bring out her brand. Well, if Beyonce can tag yeah. Blue Ivy, yeah. you can tag the other photographers as well, Beyonce. I know you're listening to us right now <laughs> on IGTV. 